Welcome back gentle readers to the final episode of pixel art news yes the summer of pixel art is now over well almost it's the end of august so fittingly enough the way we're gonna finish this season is by looking at the back to school game celebration up on steam let's dig up some pixel art games out of this lineup once again thanks everybody for giving my game pixel art academy a chance in this month i really appreciate it but we're gonna look at all the other stuff that has to do with pixel art let's go we are going to start with my favorite yes music power up this is pretty much pixel art academy if i was making a game about music instead of art in music power up as a musician in the 1980s you will create music for early video games you will make your own sounds and melodies from scratch or use pre-composed patterns you will play games upgrade the music app meet programmers editors and musicians and find your next music job in the crazy decade that started the digital revolution oh my goodness i am so excited about this game the pixel art is so nice so cozy what an environment what a vibe and you get to make music for video games ah oh, all these editors and trackers yep this is the kind of game that i am just crazy about but we'll have to wait until next year 2025 until we can play this wonderful thing and next up is GB Basic. In this case, we're gonna do a little bit of programming. Game Builder Basic is a retro fantasy console that generates ROMs compatible with the popular handheld game console. Now I wonder what console could that be? Look at that, four shades of green when you're editing stuff square aspect ratio output well i wonder what this gb thing could be if you want to be excited about a game where you can make a game boy games apparently yes it's gonna be uh nowhere no nobody knows when it's gonna come out so we're just gonna have to wait and wish list next up is embers just a little tiny journal take a moment for yourself to write reflect and stare into the embers of this cozy fantasy journal says so it's coming soon we'll see another title for next year is unbox the room unbox the room is a relaxing puzzle game where you unpack and arrange items and furniture in your new home create a cozy space by placing everything just right from the smallest cup to the largest sofa i think you know what this is inspired by but it has this beautiful asymmetric furniture yup yup all looks pretty cozy you know if you need a little bit of a boost of motivation for getting your own room around you you all neatly organized well then give this game a wish list and uh, don't forget to actually fix up your own space so you'll be all creative and cozy and now we go into the upcoming games that we can already play like Mudborn. Mudborn is a casual nature management sim about discovering and breeding frogs Awoken from hibernation, you find your pond abandoned. Through the genetic keys of new species, you must unlock the paths between the waking and dreamy worlds and embark on a journey to restore lost populations. It's nice to take care of the environment and it's a spiritual successor of Apico. And just like for that one, they are giving a portion of the money that they will make to charity, making sure that wetlands are nice and cozy for all the frogs to live in. While there isn't any release date announced, to give the demo go for Windows, Mac and Linux. Another game you can play on all the systems coming out in 2024 is So To Speak. Can you learn Japanese by solving puzzles? So To Speak is a game about wandering in Japan, looking at signs, overhearing conversations and using context clues in the environment to figure out what it all means. No background in Japanese is assumed, which means you can learn from zero. There's other games not in pixel art that are also like Japanese is quite popular to want to learn and now we're gonna have uh, also a one where you can do this in pixel art yeah. next up is the wonderfully illustrated paper perjury it all started with a simple robbery when that thread was pulled a tapestry of mysteries was revealed solve cases and outsmart criminals in a detective story full of lies confessions and maybe even a murder or two so if you want to get your brain cells 
going into a little bit of power mode, detective work, try to figure out what's happened, do a little problem solving in your head. Here we go, paper perjury you can download the demo for Windows. And it'll come out on the 4th of October. The last game with a demo we'll look at will be Exographer. Exographer is an exploration game based on science. Become an explorer stranded in an alien planet and discover the secrets of an extinct civilization. Gain new powers to avoid dangers and obstacles in your journey and use your camera to reveal particles and hidden clues. Yes, yes, the game's description does say it is based on science. In particular, the puzzle solving in the game is based on the discovery of elementary particles. What a wonderful thing and we can look forward to it in pretty much a month on September 2024. Till then you can try the demo out on Windows and Mac. On to new releases, we're not gonna talk about Gordlets yet again, we're not gonna talk about Pixel Art Academy, we will start with Lambda Spellcrafting Academy, where you will be developing magical programming abilities while building spells. Lambda Spellcrafting Academy is a card-based puzzle game where you build spells, aka programs, to solve puzzles. If you've ever wanted to dabble in spellcraft, aka programming, here is a fun way to get started. I'm guessing from the name this is based on Lambda Calculus, which means you should be learning some good foundations for functional programming and just programming, problem solving, logic thing in general. The description does say that after playing through the game, you should be able to easily apply your new abilities to most programming languages, including JavaScript, Python, Ruby and more. This one came out at the start of the month. It only has four user reviews, however. So this one is a little bit under the radar. You can try out the demo first if you don't want to jump straight in. Otherwise, it's going to cost you 20 euros for Windows, Mac and Linux. And now from new releases to a little bit older games, well I mean older, this one came out in July 2023, just a year ago, but what a classic, Sticky Business, so we're gonna look at four titles that are on sale for the back to school game celebration. Sticky Business is such a creative jam where you experience the joy of running your own cozy small business. You will create stickers, pack orders and hear your customer stories. It's time to build the cutest shop on the internet. Yes, 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 what a creative thing this game is. With a bunch of overwhelmingly positive reviews. What a wonderful treat, it's 30% off right now for 7 euros. You can put it into your cart for Windows and Mac. Now a game I am very very excited about, I was also doing some of the gadgets myself for some of these trailers. Oh boy, Retro Gadgets is a sandbox where you build code and customize gadgets inspired by old school electronics and yes I had such a blast making a few calculators and a snake game and a Tamagotchi for this. You get to build all the different parts together, solder them, wire different lights and buttons around and then code it in Lua. I'm super looking forward to the story mode that I think they're preparing in the background but until then it has very positive reviews and you can get it for Windows 15% off right now for 17 euros retro gadgets. Next up on sale is The Legend of Pomodoro, which is a Pomodoro tool and an idle game driven by tomatoes. Of course, Pomodoro, the Italian word for tomato. Pomidori, cubera clamoia nona. And those of you who don't know, it's basically a technique where you work for 25 minutes and then take a break for 5 minutes or 50 and 10 the way I like to do it. So this just counts down your time while something cool is happening on your screen and trying to distract you from trying to be focused. Not exactly my approach, but a lot of people really enjoy this kind of stuff, so check it out. The Legend of Pomodoro is 20% off right now for 6 euros. And we'll close off with the biggest sale of them all, 95% off for 1 euro you can get Platago Super Platform Game Maker, which is the easiest way to make platform games and share them with other Platago players. It's a versatile yet simple drag and drop tool that can be enjoyed whatever your level of game making experience. With the ability to import sprites into Platago, the only limit is your imagination. It has mostly positive reviews, so you know, it might not be for everybody, but at one euro, it's easy enough to just try out if you wanted to have something like game 
game maker, but even more, everything is done inside of a game building environment more than a editor. So yeah, take a look and see if it's something for you. With that said, I'm gonna say thank you to the developer of Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions. They just got an update, cozy, cozy stuff. Thanks for organizing this. We need more educational games. You've seen some of them in pixel art today. And this is also going to be a good buy for this season of pixel art news. The summer of pixel art is over. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed all of these beautiful pixel art games we were able to showcase this summer. It was an amazing, amazing time. And uh, now on this channel, we're gonna go back to devlogs, developing new features of pixel art academy so subscribe if you want to keep on that content otherwise i'll see you on the other social media platforms where i'll be still promoting new games mainly on x twitter go check it out and i will see you in the next one cheers